What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, and I'm down here in Key West on what is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. Um, there's not a lot of wind today, and uh, I don't know. It's it's not too hot, not too humid. So I think we're gonna do another paddleboard mission to go see if we can beat up on uh, some mangrove snappers. Now. Um, we have a couple of spots by the house and you try to rotate them and not hit the same spot too many times because you'll kill it and you'll absolutely ruin your own spot. So I'm going to head a little bit further out of a paddle just because I don't have a lot of wind so it won't be that hard of a paddle um, and see if I can find another little mangrove island that holds as many as our other spot and some bigger ones. I just need one, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna grab the boards here. And we're gonna head out. Okay, we are underway. Big shout out to Madeline. If you guys don't know, Paddlin' Madeline. Um, you can check her out on Instagram, Paddlin' Madeline. It's uh, her uh, paddleboard rental company that I commandeered the board and the uh, um, paddle from but I uh, we got a little bit of a paddle ahead of us I want to go further out because like I said I don't want to abuse the spots that are close to us it's really you know I want to keep them healthy and not just pick every single fish off of that spot it's not uh, not what I'm after so we're going to do a little exploring and hopefully find something new and cool. Let's go. So it is low, low tide. I want to cut straight across there, but I'm going to have to go up and around over here. I want to get to, I don't think you can see it, but there's a wrecked boat just that way. And I want to see if any fish are on it. So that's where I'm headed. Well, we're going against the wind, and the good part is that the paddle back will be very easy and nice. So we're coming up on the first wreck. Water's clear enough that I'll be able to see from the paddle board if anyone is home. Looks like small guys from here. Yeah, a bunch of small, small mangrove. Very, very small. How cool is that? I was hoping it was going to hold something, something big in there, but those are very tiny guys. I actually see a lobster. That's funny. I go around. Let's see if I can show them to you. I can't get up there, but there was a lobster hanging out there. All right, we're going to head to the next one. So this is too funny. This thing is full of lobster. Oops. There he goes. There's a whole bunch in here. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. See you in about a month. Just small life on the front there. All right, we're gonna head over to that uh, mangrove cutout right there. There is a tree down there with a lot of life on it. Ooh, one big guy right there. I think what we're gonna do is head down that way towards that boat and then swim up this way. 
Okay, so right in front of me, there's a, a boat that's sunken. Um, and I saw a couple of big parrotfish on there. Hopefully, there's a couple of big mangrove mixed in. But I did see a couple of, like, trees or mangrove uh, kind of debris uh, as you're going out of there. And there were a couple of big mangrove on there. I brought, rather than uh, Aaron's Grover... I brought my gun, which is a little bit bigger. Um, really, it's a reef gun, but it'll give me a little bit extra, <laughs> a little bit of extra room um, that I don't have to get right up to uh, the snappers if I can see them. So I'm gonna put my GoPro in my uh, head mount, and I will talk to you hopefully when we have a fish. So I don't know if you can hear me all that well because the camera's still in the head mount, but uh, a lot of small mangrove, nothing, nothing I really wanted to shoot. A lot of like 12 inch was the biggest that I saw, so I didn't take a shot on anything. Um, we're gonna go to the next mangrove island and see. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep exploring. So let's paddle. So it is crazy low tide in here again I know this sounds pretty bad because you're in the water housing but uh, it's low tide so like I I'm gonna show you in a second it is so concentrated and I see a couple of like really hefty fish and I'm trying so hard to be quiet I paddled through and I think I stirred up like they're all on uh, high alert now so I'm gonna give it a minute slowly get in the water but I mean see but there are there are some big fish there the size of that guy there so all right we're gonna get in the water a little bit further down and then slowly creep in here that guy is big he's big okay let's go All right, we're back at the house. I got cleaned up, trimmed that mustache. 
You know when you think you got a good idea and then you see yourself in the mirror and you go, what was I thinking? Yeah, well, cut that off. Um, so I got a little antsy there towards the end because I didn't know if I was actually going to get anything. Um, so I shot a 12 inch fish, uh, but I'll say this, I shot once, I hit the fish, I hit it behind the gills, out the mouth, so no meat was messed up. So even though it's a smaller guy, get to utilize everything. With that said, what I want to make today, in Hawaii they have something called musubi. And musubi is usually, it's a rectangular uh, piece of rice, not a piece of rice, but a rectangular mold of rice with furikake, which is seaweed and sesame seed, and a little bit sweet, salty, that poured on top, and then a piece of Spam. Um, we're gonna substitute the Spam for the snapper. So what we gotta do is marinate it with a couple of different flavors, and then we're gonna dry it out and make almost like a beef jerky out of it. So first step is clean up the fish and get it into the marinade. So while it's not a monster, it'll definitely be perfect for what we're doing. Um, if you've never had musubi, I mean, a lot of people are turned off by spam. <laughs> I'm not. I love it. Uh, but if you are turned off by spam, well, then this is this is perfect because we're not using it. I feel like you guys have seen me clean enough fish that you don't really need the, uh, the close-up tutorial and I feel like a lot of you out there actually clean a lot of fish. From the comments I can tell a lot of you are fishermen. Cleaning fish is one of those things everyone says, you know, move fast, move fast. I kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of a zen moment for me cleaning my catch. I like to take my time. Even on a smaller guy like this, especially a smaller guy like this, because I want to get all of the uh, meat off of him. There you go. See? Take your time. <laughs> and then we're going to do skins off, take the bones out, and then we will get the fish immediately into our marinade. And this, this is going to be perfect. If any of you have ever had musubi, or if you know the size of spam, there you go. <laughs> That's it. So I meant, I meant to get a fish this size. That's what I was after so that I could do this recipe. Well, there we go. It's not the most impressive thing, but it is going to be delicious, I promise you. Okay, so for our marinade, I have gochujang, which is kind of like a Korean sriracha. It's a little bit sweeter, a little bit saltier, a little bit thicker. It's a really, really great uh, chili paste. And then fish sauce, soy sauce, honey, and a little bit of ginger. So we're going to put that all into a bowl and get mixing. I actually had another uh, mangrove snapper from a bridge fishing day, so I'm gonna throw that one in as well. And if you notice, I didn't add any salt or anything because we have the fish sauce and the soy sauce in there. So I don't want it to be overly salty. It'll be plenty. Okay, this is gonna go into the fridge and I'm gonna actually leave it overnight and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. All right, 
So first things first, let's get the oven going. And we wanna put that on the lowest heat possible. So, I'm gonna lower that down. I don't know if you guys can totally see that, but we're gonna go down to about 200 degrees. Wait for that to warm up a little bit, and now we're gonna get our fish out, lay it out on a rack, and put some pepper on it. Now a little bit of cracked black pepper. And into the oven we go. Now I'm going to let that go probably for about three hours. Um, I don't want it completely like jerky to where it's chewy, but I want it somewhere in between so that it's got a little bit of bite to it so it really resembles Spam. So we'll check it in about two hours and then uh, see where we're at and make our rice and everything. So now we've got to make our rice and basically you're just making sushi rice. So we're going to do one cup. And we're going to rinse this twice. All right, and then inside this, we have kombu, which is dried seaweed, dried kelp, and that'll just give another flavor to our rice. We're also gonna add rice vinegar after it's done cooking. All right, rice is ready. We pulled out the kombu, and now we're gonna add just uh, rice vinegar. You could do mirin as well. I think this rice cooker is on its last days because it manages to burn the bottom and undercook the top. It's really multitasking. All right, we'll put this aside to cool down. All right, so it's been about two hours and they shrunk down to about the size of uh, Spam, so it's perfect. And now I have this, which is a musubi mold. And you put the rice in here, pack it down, little furikake, and then we put the uh, snapper on top. Now anyone out there, any Hawaiians, don't crucify me for this. I'm not calling it musubi, it's mus musubi inspired. I know it's not musubi unless it has Spam, so I know. Don't worry. A little bit of furikake, which I told you before, it's just uh, dried seaweed, some sesame seeds, salt, and sugar. a little bit of rice just to get that paper to stick.
All right, I'm gonna make the other four. So what you couldn't see behind the scenes is all oh, this is going on here. <laughs> so I got my good buddy Austin here. He's a big Spiro. Lisa's been on the channel before. No, there's Spiro. James Ferrara, the photographer extraordinaire, Mr. Whispers. <laughs> You know this guy. The best photo I took of was corals that didn't move. <laughs> the fish are hard to shoot. They keep moving. See? <laughs> he can shoot. Oh, and you know Madeline. <laughs> I got the little Christmas tree things. All right. Hold on. There's only four. I, you're going to have to cut them in half, all right? I didn't shoot enough fish. <laughs> yeah, you're off. Uh... Your, all right. Hey, oh. Your, your paddle shooting skills need improvement. Apparently. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> well, presentation content. Yeah. Solid yeah presentation. presentation. I feel like there should be a sauce. Is there a all sauce? right. I I knew you were gonna ask for a sauce. You can do the. How do I do it? You're that? you're supposed to just eat them that way, okay. but because I'm, there's I'm more of us here, for instructions. How we're gonna have to. Like in the middle of the wrap. I would say so. Yeah. Don't mess it up, James. I worked all day on this. Knife needs to be sharper. Oh yeah, blame the knife. <laughs> so what is this called? Musubi. All right, just take a bite. Get in there. I cut my own. That was a pretty sloppy cut, John. No, that was terrible. I had your cut, babe. That knife does need to be sharpened though, just so. Oh, oh, so. Oh, it's really good. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my God. Is that smoked? No, it's not smoked. Dehydrated? Dehydrated. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, what, what do we think? Oh, the flavors that I'm tasting. Deliciousness. Mm. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So here's what's funny everyone in this room, wait, who here has had spam? I've oh. never had spam ever. Never had spam? What? I've had spam. You've had spam? Yeah. Really? All right, so it's supposed to recreate spam. All right. I can do that. All right, Will, you give it a cut. No, no, you go. Come on. Oh, God. Don't All pretend right, you like you're not a chef. <laughs> that knife's pretty bad. <laughs> but. Oh, no, no. Let me see the. the... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah? Mm. All right, I'm going in. Mm. That's really good. All right, going yeah. in for going in for my bite. It does almost taste smoke. That was good. What you marinated in? You're gonna have to watch the video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> It's gonna be like four thumbs down. It's gonna be all this. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes pretty close to spam. It's not that far off. All right. If you like this episode, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't know if all these jokers will be here. <laughs> no, I'll be here. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>